Pins, holes, and jeans are not the only type of holes that we uh, sometimes have. I decided to still uh, address another type of holes uh, in this video, and that's going to be holes in socks and how to fix those. Uh, I have thrown a lot of socks in a way in the past because they had holes in them, and that's why I thought it's good to teach myself on how to fix them, and I will show the steps that I'm going to take. Okay, so this is the sock that I have, and it has a massive hole in it, as you can see. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to try to fix today. And the first step that I'm going to take is to turn the sock inside out. Yes, and now we need to put some kind of object into the sock. So we have a bit of tension on where the hole is, and usually there are like special tools for it, but I obviously don't have that because it's my first time. Uh, I also read many times that you can use a fruit for it, like an apple or a pear. Uh, I don't have that right now, so I just decided to use this candle and I'm going to put the candle inside the sock now. Yes, and I'm putting it in a way that the hole is nicely stretched over the surface. The first step is to grab some darning yarn. It usually looks like on the left picture when you buy it at the store. If you do not want the hole to be visible, choose a color that matches the color of the sock. During my research on how to darn a sock, I came across the movement which does the exact opposite, using a darn in different colors to demonstrate that the clothes are repaired and show that it's actually a cool thing to do. And that's exactly what I did. I chose yellow for this one. Uh, next, you need a needle. Uh, best is to use a blunt needle. I didn't have one, so I just used a normal and pointy needle, which also still worked. First, I did some stitches on the same spot so that the thread stayed in place. Then I started sewing vertical lines. I find it quite difficult to explain, but I think it's visible on the video. I put a little bit of tension on the yarn, which automatically made the hole a bit smaller. I made the stitches a bit too far apart, so they should actually be a little bit closer together. And I did this across the full hole. I was done with the vertical lines. I took a new yarn and I touched it with some stitches on the same spot just like I did with the first yarn. Sadly, I lost the video of that, but I guess you know what I mean. Then I started weaving it horizontally through the vertical lines. So I went with the needle above the vertical line, underneath, above, under, and so on, so on. Once I weaved through all the vertical yarn, I pushed it a bit towards the side.
Lastly, I took the end pieces of the yarn and tied them together into knots. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. I mean, it was my first time and it still looks quite messy right now. But uh, yeah, the hole is closed, which is the most important. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to try that a bit more often and try to get a little bit better at it. Uh, yeah, but it's still just like in general, general really good that I can continue wearing these socks now.